Hello everyone, welcome back to another Fox Tech tutorial. This time we talk about YouTube Shorts, and this all applies to the iPad. Now, if you wanna, if you are in a situation where you have the videos ready and you wanna publish them as shorts right from your iPad, then I made a specific video just about that. So I'm just gonna link it down below. If you wanna check it out, it explains it in depth. But the thing is, how do you actually create the shorts? on your iPad and not just publish, but how do you actually create them? Well, the YouTube Shorts are basically short form video content, which is usually under 60 seconds, and it just focuses on quick, punchy storytelling. And the process is pretty simple. It includes, of course, finding the content. You have to make sure that you have the videos ready or that you shoot them. Then you have to like plan what you're gonna say or show in that video. Then you have to shoot them, as I said, and then edit it. And I'm gonna mostly focus on editing it because I want you to use the app called CapCut. CapCut is a free video editor, which you can go ahead and open up the App Store and then download it in case you don't have it just yet. As I said, it's a free one and it works really well. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the All Apps Explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. It allows you to create many new things and you can see you can just use it as an actual video editor. So it's really up to you to utilize it. But what I want you to do is, of course, uh, let you know about a couple of different things. So at first, you should make sure that you are shooting in the uh, actual aspect ratio because you want to make sure that the video is vertical, not horizontal. For me, the video is 16 by 9, but you can see it's in the regular style. YouTube shorts are usually vertical, so you always have to put them and edit them in that manner. So if you already happen to be in a case like this where the video is horizontal, you want to switch it, you can see at the bottom, you can see there is the rotate button. However, if you have, for example, the thing here selected, you don't get to see the options. If you have the audio selected, you don't have the option here as well. So click on this arrow right here. Just go back to the main section. And as you can see right here, you also have the ratios, tap on ratio, and it switches from these things. So you can switch from the regular video, 16 by nine, four by three, or just to fit the screen. It depends what you want, but I want you to click on the nine by 16. It has the TikTok logo, but it applies to every other thing. So every vertical video is gonna be like this. Now you can see you have a vertical video. So what you can do is to click on this one, and zoom it in like this to fill the, fill the entire screen if you want. So you effectively went from the horizontal style to actual vertical video. In case, for example, that the Apple Watch is moving around, the subject of the video is moving around and it's not always in a frame, you also have the auto reframe option. It's also part of the pro package. So I don't think that you can actually use it that well, but you can just use it like this and your uh, CapCut app is automatically going to adjust it to make sure that the auto reframe is activated and that the subject always fits inside of the frame. So that's really good. I like to use it that way because you don't have to manually adjust it one by one using keyframes. Oh, these would be like the technical things and technical tips which I have for you. But when it comes to the actual content creation, what I would want you to do is to make sure that you at first have a hook because all of the YouTube shorts and reels and stuff perform well when, the, of course, they are short. So you have to grab someone's attention, so just start with the hook. Then make sure that the video is, of course, high quality. You should create some uh, transitions between the clips. You can see I have some very hard cuts in here, which is not ideal, so keep that in mind. You should also sync visual elements with the beats of the music in case you have the option to, because you just make sure that the video is like more entertaining to watch, so you should always do that as well when you can. And also make sure that the video is of high quality, of course, so yeah. So that's about it. These were some basic things. I don't want like, this is not an in-depth guide on creating 
creating reels i just wanted to show that to you so just this is how we switch from uh, horizontal video to vertical use the auto reframe a couple of tips and that's how you can create a youtube short using the cap card so i hope that the video has helped you out make sure to hit the thumbs up if it did and also subscribe so you don't miss future videos like this one thanks a lot for watching and i'll catch you in the next video peace out until then